Big hat and no cattle. Hello and welcome to the Durham Talents Channel. My name is Jesse Durham. For today's installation in our quotes series, I would like to talk about the saying of big hat, no cattle. So I have two overarching thoughts when I heard this saying recently. And I don't know that I'd heard this saying much before in, in, in my childhood. So if you have, let me know down in the comments section if you'd like. If you've heard this one, big hat, no cattle. But my big two thoughts when I did hear this, I knew what it meant immediately. I knew what it meant. So number one, it made me think about what R. Nelson Nash describes in his book, Becoming Your Own Banker, The Average American. The average American is bleeding out 34 and a half cents of every dollar that he earns in interest alone. So you've heard about this before, and, and, and so very many of us have lived this out, that the house might look nice, the apartment, the car that's in the driveway, the new font, the new whatever, okay? But behind all that, we're bleeding out to the tune of a third of our cash flows in interest dollars alone. So debt, debt is eating up folks okay we're not addressing parkinson's law the the human tendency the human problem of spending what you earn and as for myself i certainly when, when i was first exposed to the idea of becoming your own banker for me it was a complete and a total financial renaissance and an awakening where i owe tens of thousands of dollars of debt we we owed about fifty thousand dollars in debt when i first read becoming your own banker when i first saw a presentation on becoming your own banker and that was an example in my life of when i would have had a big hat and no cattle okay so i, I know that there are plenty of folks in that situation and if that's you let me encourage you there's a way out of that debt and there's a way out of that debt where you can keep the money okay there are plenty of folks that talk about getting out of debt and they've got good systems good Good ideas, good encouragement, good motivation, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but there's only one way that you can get out of debt and keep the money back, and that's for you to be the banker in your life, okay? So you can pay off debt and get that money back. I know that sounds crazy. If you've not seen my presentation, though, or read R. Nelson Nash's Becoming Your Own Baker book, that's the idea. You can be the banker, okay? So... You could pay off the debt and get the money back. And then I also thought that this saying, it still applies for the folks that are doing good things financially in their life. But, but, but think about this with me. So let's say you don't have debt. Let's say you pay cash for everything. You've got some assets. You've put some money away. Different things, okay? If we're talking about the conventional approach to finances, you're told to pay cash for everything. So you've got a paid-for car, let's say, out in the driveway. Two paid-for cars. Let's say the home's even paid off, and that's a big thing. That's a big thing for folks, okay? The home's paid off. Let's say that you're putting aside a good percentage of your income into the qualified plans and such like we're told to do. Well, where's your money at? Now, now, I'm not saying it's a good thing to, to owe on a car, per se. I'm not saying it's a good thing to owe on a home, per se. I'm not saying it's uh, bad to have money put away in places. But what I'm saying is, is, isn't that another version of having a big hat and no cattle? Isn't your money tied up in four wheels of a car? Isn't your money tied up in the two-by-fours of the home? Isn't your money locked away for the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years? In those qualified plans that you can't touch without penalties and fees and all this different stuff, taxes and stuff, okay? And then, of course, you got to think of, well, what are, what, are, what are the guarantees there? I mean, what's happening with the car? It's depreciating. What's, what's happening with the cost of living? It's going up. Is inflation working against us? You bet that it is. Are we assuming risk by locking up our money in these government qualified plans? I think so. OK, so I'm not bashing on you. I'm just asking you to think about what's what's your approach to personal finance in life, whether you're in debt or whether you have a, a big net worth, big being respective to you, but no liquidity. OK, what if what if you were that that millionaire that a Dave Ramsey or somebody would tout? OK, but all those dollars are tied up in your home 
All those dollars are tied up in retirement plans and programs that you don't know what they're going to do 10 years from now, next week. Okay, You don't know whether they're going to go up, go down, and and all these different variables, okay, all these different variables that I think we should address. But maybe you have a million dollar net worth, okay, you own more than you owe today, but what are the guarantees? What risk are you assuming? Do you have control? Do you have access? I'm just asking you to think about these things much like I thought about these things when I first saw a presentation in 2015 about how to become your own banker. And we did have debt and we did pay it off. And we built a private monetary system over those years that now we've been able to use for growing wealth, acquiring, you know, growing death benefits, thinking long range about the next generations after us. And we've used that private monetary system to fund vacations, to pay property taxes, recurring expenses, a couple of real estate deals. I mean, just different things that we've done over the past several years. I'm saying there's a way for you to wear as big of a hat as you want and have an infinite number of cattle. There's just no telling what you can do when you get on the journey of becoming your own banker. So if that interests you, then let's have a talk. You can find my calendar link on our website. You can have a free consultation call with me where I can address your questions. We can address your goals and your aspirations and what it could look like for you to implement the infinite banking concept. So this has been a great pleasure for me. I look forward to our next conversation. Have a great day. Take care. Big hat, no cattle. Big hat, no cattle. Big hat, no cattle. Big hat, no cattle. Big hat, no cattle.